If you watched the last video on the 1962 Volkswagen Bug restoration, you would have seen us apply uh, a nice healthy coat of single stage ruby red paint. And it went on really nicely, no problems, except for a couple little drips. So this flat spot right here, that's from sanding out a couple drips. Single stage paint typically goes on really thick and uh, can cause some orange peel, but that's no big deal. We're gonna polish that out. And then now that the drips are gone, we can go over this whole door and uh, you'll see me use a lot of water. You don't wanna just dry sand new paint. You wanna wet sand it, spray it down often. What we'll do after that is we'll go over all of it again with 3000 grit to get a really nice shiny finish and then we'll wax. As you can see, we have nice flat paint. Uh, it's not shiny at all right now, except for these little bits. These are orange peel, so you wanna, you know, find these little bits and, and finish sanding them out. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is what the paint's going to look like after 1500 grit. Um, it's nice and flat. There's not a ton of shine to it. First time you see recently sanded paint, it's concerning because you're like, oh, where's the shine? Don't worry, when you, um, when you sand with the 3000 grit and then wax, it'll come back and it'll be 10 times better than before. So next we're going to do 3000 grit. Uh, a little side note, I did sand through the paint right here. So I did have to take a paintbrush and touch it up a little bit. You do need to be really careful, um, about these like curves and kind of corner areas, because if you go too crazy, it can very easily sand through on those places where there's a bit of an edge. Um, so do be careful about that. But other than that, it's pretty straightforward. And then obviously, as you can see, there's quite a bit of dust. You wanna get that off um, just because it'll clog up the 3000 grit pretty easily. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so once you've got the paint nice and uh, smooth, all wet sanded down, what I'm gonna do next is hand apply some of this. It is a rubbing compound. Now I'm gonna apply that by hand. That's just kind of what I like to do. I don't know, there are other ways to do it for sure. Once that's done, as, and as you can see, I've already done the door. So if you look at it, it's quite a bit shinier and a little bit darker. After that, I'm going to apply polish with a uh, random orbital. And uh, what you'll see that do is just shine it up and darken it quite a bit. For this particular paint, it also brings out almost this purplish tint. It's really quite cool and hopefully you'll be able to see it on camera. So here's the finished product. Look at that gloss. It's not perfect, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you like this video or you learned something from it, like and subscribe and have a good day.